Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to the first game recap for Broncos Country News. As you guys know, we defeated the LA Chargers last night, uh, 30 to 24, uh, 24 to 21. 24 21, we won last night. Game was way more interesting than it should have been. Way more of like a heart attack than it should have been. But I've had heart attacks pretty much every day in my life since I've been a Bronco fan. So last night was no different. But that is probably the latest I've ever stayed up for a Monday night game because I didn't go to bed till like midnight. And it's sad because, you know, that's the latest we've, probably, we've ever had to start a game before, you know, 8.20. You know, and it was, it was odd. But, man, what a way to start the year, right? Uh, so let's uh, get into some stats here. Now, on my Twitter, I've had tons of people hating on Trevor Simeon, saying he's not the answer, saying that we need to get Brock Osweiler in there or... Uh, you know, try something else because it's clear trying the answer. Uh, last night, he went 17 of 28 with 219 yards. Don't get me wrong. As numbers go, that isn't that impressive. But outside the numbers, Trevor had a really good game. Sure, he was a little bit shaky on that first drive, not really making a ton of smart throws on that first drive. But after that, he was ex throwing extremely smart passes. He threw to good players. Sure, he made a couple tight passes through a window with, like, Hireman and Thomas and Fowler, but they made the catch. He had uh, two t passing touchdowns and a rushing touchdown. So that was very good to see, Trevor accounting for all three touchdowns. And that's another good thing I have to say. Trevor moved out of the pocket last uh, last night, which is odd because, uh, you know, in the uh, last year, it was clear Trevor could move through the pocket. It was clear that he could clearly move on like Peyton did, but he just wouldn't. He'd either throw it away or he'd take the sack, which was very odd to me and kind of frustrating that Trevor just wouldn't take off and run if he had a chance. And uh, leading to the next thing, as for offensive line, pass blocking wasn't too bad last night. I mean, sure, they got through a couple times, but Garrett Bowles had a pretty good debut. Max Garcia did a pretty good job. Paradis, of course, did a good job because he's the best center in the league. Uh, only negative out of the off out of the offensive line was uh, Menelik Watson. Menelik Watson, we picked him up as a free agent from Oakland last year, and I figured he'd be pretty good because pass blocking for Derek Carr last year was actually is actually really good. But man, what happened to Watson last night? Boza just kicked his butt up and down the field. As for run blocking, it was actually not that bad. Run blocking was actually pretty good. And, uh, you know, it was cool to see uh, Anderson and Charles get holes in the running game. Yeah, C.J. Anderson last night had 81, car had 81 yards on 20 carries, but he had a really good game last night. He carried the ball really well. He got yards when we need him to. It's a shame he didn't get a touchdown because, in my opinion, he certainly earned one. He certainly deserved a touchdown. Jamal Charles really didn't get as many to touches as I thought he would. He only went 40 yards on 10 rushes. And he actually fumbled the ball late in the game. That near screwed us. That near screwed the game for us. But the first half was really solid. Defense was clicking, allowing only a single touchdown. And the offense just seemed to be on fire. I am confident in Mike McCoy's system because it's far better than last year's. Uh, last year's system was really conservative. Mike McCoy's system seems to be very aggressive. You know, run it down their throats. You know, punch it into the end zone. You know, that's what it appears to be. And I like that system from Mike McCoy. You know, a very aggressive type game. So, uh, that is one plus. I have confidence that this defensive system is going to work. That it'll be better than last year's. Uh, if we can just fix that right tackle position, I guarantee you we'll have a pretty decent, pretty good, solid offensive line. I mean, Trevor Simeon did a good job moving regardless. Uh, and his first touchdown pass was a weird one because Boza jumped off sides, which was an automatic five-yard penalty. But we still ran the play anyways where Trevor threw a five-yard pass to Benny Fowler. And that's another thing. Uh, Benny Fowler, when we brought him in, L.A. was really impressed by Benny Fowler. Last year, he really wasn't there because Jordan Taylor really took the spotlight. This year, Benny, last night, Benny Fowler looked alive. He looked really good. He was making solid catches, and he looked to be doing a good job. As for special teams, what the heck, McManus? What the heck, man? Missing a 50-yard field goal. They could have put us up 27-21. to 21. 
He missed the 50 yarder with what, five minutes to go? One thing I've always said is I cannot go a single Bronco game without my heart pounding. Last night was no different. But in the end, guys, I'm going to take the W. I remember when Yohung, when Young Ho Ku, however you say his name, goes up to kick the field goal, we called the timeout. And Wolf and uh, Shelby Harris, who ended up blocking the kick, said, hey, let's block, let's plan this block. And Shelby Harris gets right to the line, gets a hand on it, and they missed the field goal. It was insane. I loved it. it I was literally, like, just kind of praying on my knees. Please miss it. Please miss it. Again, that was more interesting than it should have been. It should not have ever been that close. It should have been... Uh, we should have blown them out. It should have been like 31-34-7. We had a chance to do that. It should have been 31-34-7. As for turnovers, uh, Trevor Simeon did throw an interception, but that's not really his fault. Uh, he threw the ball to Benny Fowler, and the, receipt, and the defender knocked the ball away. But here's what happened. As he was tackling Benny Fowler... The defender actually kicked the ball in the air a little bit, allowing another Charger cornerback to come and take up the ball. So that wasn't really Trevor's fault. That was just, you know, what, dumb luck. As for fumbles, I don't know, Jamal Charles, man. you got to hold on to the ball. That's one thing CJ did really well last night. He held on to that football. And that's one thing I'll give CJ Anderson credit for. He rarely fumbles the football. As for receiving, really good last night. Uh, Sanders had an insane catch where he caught it. Ran, uh, it was like, what, third and, uh, probably what, I think it was like third and 13. He threw the ball to Anderson. He caught the ball. He ran all the way around across the field and got, as that, like, what, 15 yards for a first down. Uh, Demarius Thomas had a really good night with catches. Yeah, he dropped a pass, but hey, everyone's going to drop a pass. And Thomas caught the ball. Uh, later he gets down in position. Fowler did a good job. Hireman had some good catches. Uh, Virgil had a good catch. Uh, all around, the offense looked really solid. I'm really proud of the offense. As for defense, we did a pretty good job in that first uh, those first three quarters. I mean, Rivers practically shut down those first three quarters. Uh, we got uh, we we only got a single sack on him from Shaq Barrett, and uh, Vaughn wasn't really there last night, which I was a little disappointed by. But at the same time, I mean, they were putting like two to three guys on him at a time. Uh, they put like a guard and a tackle, or a tackle and a fullback, or a, or a, a, a tackle and a running back, or they didn't even triple team them like with a tight end, a running a running back, and a lineman. So it was impossible, and whenever Vaughn could get through, it was just with a tackle. Uh, as for the run game, people were saying now Melvin Gordon was, uh, the important was to stop the run game. We uh, Melvin Gordon had, I think, two good drives, and we pretty much shut him down. Gordon would get nowhere. At one point on fourth and one, Todd Davis came right through the line on fourth and one and just dropped Gordon for a three-yard loss. So that was really cool to see. I'll admit, the, the defense, other than the little shaky part near the end, that defense, again, looked really solid. Pass defense looked good, other than Keenan Allen. And, by the way, what is with Keenan Allen, man, being a complete douche, you know, throwing the ball at uh, one of our guys? And dancing in the end zone. I don't get the, I mean, it's cel there's celebrations, but then there's like a douche. And uh, he was, even Rex Ryan on Monday Night Football said he looked pretty selfish, you know. The team was still losing at that point. Uh, as for but as for the last drive of that game, defense did a good job holding them. They kept them uh, a minimal distance away from the end zone as possible. Uh, just like last year, we iced the kicker. We end up uh, uh, blocking the kick. And we went 24 to 21. Uh, we do need to shape up a bit. We gotta learn how to close out games, guys. If we got a big lead like that, we have gotta tighten down. We have gotta make sure that we don't have more situations like that, because those will hurt us uh, later down the road. We gotta close down the tight games. Uh, we gotta make sure that the defense is firing on all cylinders. We gotta give Vaughn more chances. But the offense needs to keep firing. We need to keep getting good run games for CJ Anderson. We gotta improve. A bit of the blocking for Trevor Simeon. But other than that, a very solid game. And despite the fact that it was a heart attack game, other than that, there's really nothing I can complain about. I'm very happy with the win. We go 1-0 to start the season. And we're going to be tied with Kansas City and Oakland uh, for first place in the West. That's the start of the year. And next week, we got Dallas here in Denver. And I'm going to be honest, guys. Unlike some of you, I'm not extremely scared of the Cowboys. 
I mean, we can get Prescott on the floor. We've proven we have a good pass defense. Uh, we stopped M Melvin Gordon, who is a pretty good running back. We stopped him. I have a feeling if we can contain Ezekiel Elliott, we can get pressure on Prescott, and the offense is firing. But the blocking has to improve because the Cowboy defensive line, they're actually pretty good. They're not that bad. So if we can keep the offense going and we can get the defense firing, we'll be, we'll be good to go. I mean, it is at our home. Uh, we're 1-0. and So that's just it from me, guys. Uh, be sure to like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the game. And let me know what you think we need to do to beat Dallas coming up this next Sunday. Anyways, I'll have a salute. Thank you guys so much. We're 1-0. and See you guys next time.